Hey everyone, Technomancer here with a video for you guys. Now, if you're finding that your Apple Pencil is connected to your iPad, but it does not work, for example, you can write or it doesn't respond to whenever you're touching the screen, you wanna follow these steps to fix this problem. So let's get started. So the very first thing you wanna do is ensure that your Apple Pencil actually has charge. As you can see here, when I connect it, it tells me the charge percentage. Now, if you don't see that, you can also go into your settings and then go down here. If you're connected, right, you'll see Apple Pencil and right up top here will tell you your battery percentage of your, and you wanna make sure that is, of course, more than 20%. Now, after you have done that, the next thing you wanna all do with your Apple Pencil is that you wanna go ahead and check the actual oh, uh, tip on it. So if you have a tip like this one here, right, this is a second generation I have, these tips actually come off, and sometimes they get a little bit loose, so it just screws on and off. So here I'm gonna do a counterclockwise uh, to unscrew it completely and then make sure there's no dust or debris or anything stuck in here and then go ahead and reconnect it by twisting it clockwise now as you can see here as I twist it clockwise right it will lock in place just like that and you want to make sure it's tight you don't know over tight it just enough tight sometimes again if you use it a lot it starts to become a little loose so make sure that tip is connected and it is tight on there now other time what it could also happen is that if you have a tip that crack broke or got damaged you may need to replace this the replacement is in another video I'll show you how to replace it but basically remove the tip the tip get a new tip and then install the new tip as well now another thing to consider with your ipad with your apple pencil not working is that if you recently installed a new temper glass on it you might consider removing it because sometimes those newer temper glass or some of the ones that are bulkier might not allow the Apple Pencil to actually interact with the screen or block that actual touch here. So that could be getting in the way. Another thing to consider is cleaning your iPad screen. If you have a lot of dust, debris, or uh, dirt, or basically oil marking from your finger or thumb, you wanna take a microfiber cloth, of course, close it, and then start cleaning it up as much as you, you can to ensure that it's not interfering with that Apple Pencil tip as well. Now, another thing to also consider is the temperature of your uh, Apple Pencil and your iPad. So if the Apple Pencil has been in extreme cold or extreme hot weather, it's not gonna respond like it should. Same with your iPad as well. It does happen if you're using it outside or if you're you know, using it in a place where the extreme temperatures are there. So you wanna make sure you're at a normal temperature as well. Now, after you have done that, the next thing to do is Let's forget, go ahead and remove the Apple Pencil completely. And then, but to do that, we go into our settings, click on Bluetooth up here. And then if you see your Apple Pencil connected, click on that eye icon and then click on forget and then forget that Apple Pencil that it disconnects it. Now after you have disconnected, remove it just like that and we'll leave it on the side here. And then we're gonna go ahead and force restart our iPad. So in order to force restart your iPad, uh, you're gonna locate the volume up and down button. We're gonna quickly press and release the volume up and then press and release the volume down and then hold on to that touch ID or the lock button until the screen goes completely black and the Apple logo appear. Sometimes the eye, if you have an iPad, the volume up and down might be on the side if it's not on the top here. This is a mini six, so that's why it's on the top. So I'm gonna press and release the volume up, press and release the volume down, and then I hold on to that lock or the touch ID. As you can see here, it's saying to slide to power off, but do not need to do any of that. Just keep on holding that top button here. And we're gonna wait for the Apple logo to reappear on the logo, and then at that time you let go of that touch ID or the lock button. And like I mentioned, this basically what is known as a force restart, basically shuts down the software and reloads the code. So if it's a software related issue, it will fix it. It will not delete any of your personal data. So all of your photos, videos, apps will still be on your iPad. And if you don't see the, uh, the volume up and down button on the top here, you can also see it on the side as well. Just follow the same exact method of pressing the volume up and then volume down and then holding on to that lock or the touch a button here until the screen goes completely black and the Apple logo appears. Now after you have done that and you're still uh, uh, seeing it, uh, the next thing you want to do is go ahead and reconnect it again. Again, same exact process to reconnect. Just put it on the side here. It's just stick on. Go into your settings. Uh, make sure that you see it connected and it should automatically connect if it's not already connected. And if another thing you can do is turn off Bluetooth and then turn it back on as well. Click on it to connect and as you can see, it should say connected here. And after doing that, hopefully it is working. Now, if it's still not working, it's time to go ahead, update the firmware of the Apple Pencil. The Apple 
Pencil firmware is actually bundled with your iPads for a software. So in order to update the firmware to get the latest version, you want to go into your setting of your iPad, go to general, software update, and as it's connected with your iPad, you want to go ahead and download and install the newest update because a previous update might have caused issue. So you want to go ahead and download the latest update available. When the iPad is updated and it's connected, it automatically updates the firmware as well with it. So whatever package you're installing with the new update, it will also update your Apple Pencil. Now after you have done that and you're still having issues, one last thing to kind of go ahead and check out is to ensure that the Apple Pencil you have in the iPad are actually compatible, especially if you recently upgraded your iPad or got a new updated pencil. Sometimes you might be thinking it should work, but it's not working it's because it might not be compatible. You can look up the compatibility by going into your uh, any of your browser and search up iPad Apple Pencil compatibility. Basically, if you Google that any device and it'll take you to Apple's website. It basically tells you what version of Apple Pencil are uh, compatible with version of iPad here. So this is the second generation that I have here. So I can see here it's compatible with my mini sixth generation. And you wanna find whatever uh, Apple Pencil you have and then make sure that the uh, model number for your iPad, which you can find in the settings, general, about, it'll tell you the model name here. You wanna make sure that it's compatible. And all, doing all this, your Apple Pencil should work. Now, if it doesn't work in any scenario, it could be a defective Apple Pencil. In that case, you'll have to get it replaced or have uh, have them uh, take a look at it. But again, if you follow these steps, by now your Apple Pencil should be working. And I hope it is working. If so, please consider the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPad, Apple Pencil, and other iOS devices. See you guys next time.